I have a couple of these resistor assortment boxes from DigiKey and I've been keeping them in the box and just flipping through tediously and as I use them more and more the values get mixed up all over the place. So I have to go looking 30k, 24k, 16k. Where's the one that I want? Well these are in relative sequence. But if I'm looking for 10k, it's not in this pile. It goes down to 9.1 and then it skips to 11. I don't know where I put the 10k or if I even have any left. Maybe I use them up. And I'd have to really go through everything. Like there's a loose one here. That's 510 ohms. So I wanted to get them put into part storage trays. But I wasn't sure how to organize these. How many different values in each tray. In the past, I might organize them just sequentially with a few at a time, like zero ohm jumper up to 1k, and then the next 1.1k or so up to maybe 4.7k. Depends how many of each resistor value I have and how many I can stuff in a tray. That sort of was okay, but I thought I would try the E24 preferred series sorting method. So what are preferred numbers and what's the E24 series? An E series of component values will be roughly equally spaced when on a logarithmic scale. So for each decade, 1 to 10 or 10 to 100 and so on, whatever E series number we have, in this case I'm using E24, there will be 24 intervals of component values logarithmically spaced out in each decade. So looking at E24, if we look at the decade, say, 1 to 10, where 10 would actually be the next decade and it would repeat over, there's 24 values between 1 and 10, and there would be another 24 values continuing on between 10 and 100, and so on. The way they are logarithmically spaced out, when you factor in the tolerance of the series, E24 is a 5% tolerance, E12 would be 10% tolerance components, and so on. Say you have a 1 ohm resistor with a 5% tolerance. This 1 ohm could be between 0.95 ohms and 1.05 ohms. And the next value up, 1.1 ohms in the E24 series, at the bottom end of this 5% tolerance, a 1.1 ohm resistor could be as low as 1.045 ohms, which is close to the 1.05 ohms of the resistor below. So the idea is, as you go through the series, each resistor value, including its plus and minus tolerance, will just about meet up with the resistor value before and after it, with its tolerance plus and minus so you get an almost continuous range of resistance available. So with this decade from 1 to 10, when you want to go to the next decade between 10 and 100, this 1.0 becomes 10, and this 9.1 becomes 91. So you would have 10 ohms, 11 ohms, 12 ohms, 36 ohms, 47 ohms, etc. And when you get to 91 ohms, the next value in the next decade will be 100 ohms, up to 910 ohms, and that's how these values are chosen within the series. So if I'm going to sort my resistors out based on the E24 series values, I'm essentially looking at the first two digits of each resistor value I have and placing them in one of these bins. So if I have a 9.1k or a 9.1 ohm or a 910k, it goes in the bin called 91. If I have a 10k or a 100 ohm resistor, it goes in the 1-0. I just wanted to quickly touch upon what this E24 series is, the fact that it's 5% tolerance resistors, what the values are, and how I'm sorting them out. So I'll print out E24 series labels and get these trays set up. Shazbot. That wasn't a tape jam. It was a corroded battery. I don't know the last time I used this, but I found enough batteries to maybe squeak by. Now I just need to cut these for the individual trays. Alright, so I've got 24 trays now in the E24 series. Already it just feels a lot more organized. So let's say I want a 330 ohm resistor. I go to the 3-3 bin. I'll take all these out and just see what's in here. 
So in stock I have a 3.3 ohm, a 33 ohm, a 330 ohm, which is what I wanted, and a 33K. So that was pretty fast compared to before, either flipping through the box of resistors or the other ways I used to try to organize. And recently I was looking for a 510K for JFET experiments. So I'm looking for 510K, I get the 51 bin. What do we have in here? 510 ohms, 5.1K. There's the 510K I needed. 5.1 ohms and 51K. Of course, now I use up so many more trays. I already used up half of this parts cabinet. I'm gonna have to go shopping again. Being organized and efficient makes things a lot more enjoyable.